Hi everybody, we're uh, starting this vlog a little later in the afternoon today. Gabriel and I are about to go for a walk to look at Halloween decorations. Halloween's only a few days away and lots more decorations are starting to pop up in the neighborhood. So we thought we'd go and take a look. So the reason we're starting this on this one a little later in the day than we normally do is because um, if you don't know, when you sleep train a baby, that doesn't only happen at night. It also happens during the day with their naps. Um, the number of naps and when they take them and the duration of those naps uh, can help make the evenings a little bit smoother. The nighttime sleeps a little bit better. So this guy has been getting his morning naps. He's supposed to get two, one morning and then one right about lunchtime and they happen pretty close to each other. But now we're in that stretch. <laughs> he had big eyes. So anyway, now we're in that stretch where there's about like four or five hours where he has to stay awake. So that's when we've been going out into the world uh, during the days over the last few days. So, we're gonna go see what we can see. You excited? Are you excited? Yeah, somebody can't wait to see Halloween decorations. <gasps> <Huh>. <laughs> so yesterday it was uh, stupid windy outside and a lot of my decorations got kind of blown out of whack and kind of hanging funny and things like that my house may look a bit more authentic right now than I care for it to uh, but every <laughs> I'd go outside like every 10 minutes and try to fix it fix something that had blown over and then I'd hear it bump again a little while later and it had blown down again so I was fighting a losing battle so I just gave up so I'm gonna go back out today when we get home and Try to adjust a few things, get some things fixed. Okay, first up, we have this house. Pretty creepy. Not sure if the lawnmower is part of the decoration. Fire pit. Looks like there's something in there. It's a baby. There's a baby in the fire pit. All right, coming up on house number two. This looks promising. I see terror in your eyes, like the use of pallets. Okay, we're approaching a house that went all out in kind of a terrifying way <laughs> and there is a what looks like a pressure pad on the sidewalk so I'm in the walking in the street to avoid that because I don't want something jumping out at me when I take my son for a casual walk so here you go and that's the sidewalk so you have to walk through that to get to their house. Crazy. Looks like we have a couple of people on the electric chair. I don't know what that is, but I don't want to get close enough to find out. So that's a baby on a stake. Looks like the clowns went crazy at the little kid birthday party. 
and they're now eating them. That's weird. And this is their neighbors. A for effort, guys. Well, that was a nice walk. Um, there are several other houses nearby that do a really good job of decorating. <laughs> but uh, they're just a hair farther than I felt like walking today. <laughs> and it's time for this guy to have some sweet potatoes. He's tired of being in that stroller. You ready to eat? Okay. All right, while Gabriel's uh, sweet potatoes are thawing in the steamer, he's getting a little exercise as he stands perfectly still. I'm having a little snack, something I discovered the other day, a combination, as my fat kid snack, uh, bugles and candy corn. I know a lot of people hate candy corn. I am not one of those people. I love it. So anyway, I have discovered that if you one bugle to one I guess you call it a kernel to one kernel of candy corn uh, makes the perfect salty and sweet ratio and I think it's delicious anyway fat kid snack for for Halloween give it a try you might like it all right we're having our potatoes He likes sweet potatoes. <laughs> Gabriel. I think he took some uh, inspiration from some of the Halloween decorations we looked at. Because he's been a little bit of a terror. Haven't you? You're just smiling at him. Haven't you? <laughs> Screaming one second, smiling the next. <laughs> Say, where's your mommy? Come home, mommy. I gave him his laundry basket. So while he's occupied with that, I can tell you what we're doing next. So we've had a bananas. Uh, we've been doing bananas, but we think he's got a little bit of eczema problem. Is, I th we think that that problem is intensified by the bananas. So we're gonna stop doing bananas for a little while and start doing some other stuff. That's why we had sweet potato for lunch. I'm about to blend up some beets for, uh, to, for him to add to his to his diet because he really likes beets. <laughs> Should have pulled that out a long time ago. Anyway, I'm gonna blend that up. Mom's on her way home. She should be here shortly and, uh, and then we can give him dinner. Oh. Yay! Hi. Yay! Stinky beets in here. It's because there were stinky beets in here. Oh, your cheeks are still so red. Hi! Boob shot. Oh. <laughs> He's all over the place. Hi, it's in here. Hi, little baby 
boy. Yeah. Hi. We went and looked at Halloween decorations today, and I think he got some tips. Oh, yeah? Yep. You got your game plan ready for next year, Peanut? No, as in, like, he decided to be a little monster all afternoon. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't know, what, don't know what you want to do? Mm -hmm. Well, mommy. <laughs> Keep going. You got to get there. Come see me. Nope. This is remote. I'm distracted by the remote. And myself and the puppy. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, I need this baby. Thank goodness. Tell them what we're doing, baby. Get rid of me. <laughs> we're you. going to dinner. Then what? Grocery shopping. Just like always. Gabriel's in heaven. Mommy comes bearing salsa. I got tacos. Cause Wednesdays call for tacos. Actually Tuesdays do honey. Well is there any day that really doesn't call for tacos? What did you get? Tacos. Tacos. Burrito. A burrito. Chips and salsa. Chips and salsa. And this little hot tamale. So we decided to spice it up and there's the brown sugar right there. Go to a different grocery store. Ooh. I know. Living on the wild side today. Those are cute pumpkins. <gasps> Look at these owls. How? Is this a giant candle? <laughs> it's a giant candle. Look at how much it costs. Oh my gosh, and it's $70. It's on sale. It's, on sale. it's 96 ounces of candle. Do you really think it's going to burn that long? Look hey, how cute be, these owls are. You'll hand that though. candle down to your uh, children. <laughs> I bequeath. Not the way you burn candles. I bequeath this giant candle. Look, oh my gosh. Look at this hedgehog. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, how much is he? We don't need a hedgehog. He's only seven dollars. Oh my gosh, we made it by a hedgehog. He's so cute. Hey, if you want him, put him in the Look basket. Look at the fox. Oh, it's a fox boy and a fox girl. How cute is their fall stuff? I can't. Do we find a new grocery store? Do we start coming here every other day? Wait. A little further away. Gabriel, this is not polite. <laughs> it's not the way we behave ourselves in public. Hey. If I can't do it, why can he? <laughs> no, baby. <laughs> no, baby. I love you, but no. No, you don't know that word, do you? So that grocery store experience was really nice. It's nice in there. It was calm. It's clean. Had it all had stuff. stuff that we get. So maybe we'll switch to this one. It's further away for our big shopping trips. For the short ones, you can still go up the yeah. street but for our big ones. But it was really nice. My only complaint is that the checker outer lady called Gabriel Princess Which kept we, saying she. You can't really hold that against the grocery store so much as the lady. But in her defense, she's not the first person to think that our <laughs> a lot son of people think was a girl. That he's a girl because he's pretty but he's he wearing a onesie with tools on it <laughs> like how many girls wear onesies with tools on it we're defying gender norms <laughs> i'm all for being whatever gender you want to be but i don't know it just <laughs> kept calling her i didn't correct her because i always feel bad when people do that so i just let them do it anyway. yeah well it was a really good grocery store they had a guy um so Sarah's there, I'm there. I'm pushing the baby and he's in the seat part of the cart. And 
the little the guy that bagged up our groceries was like, I'll help you guys out. And I said, No, we got it. We have it. You know, there's But it's I'm their here. policy buggy, that but... a worker has to walk you out to take your cart back. So it was very nice. We may have to make make more frequent visits here. And the gas prices here are pretty cheap. That's where we get gas too, yeah. And they have a rewards card, so we need to get that. I think we may have found our new grocery store. Alright, we got ten minutes to bedtime. We gotta go. Alright, going home. Well, we made it back home. Uh, groceries are unloaded. Baby is put down for the night. It's another, so we begin another night of sleep training or whatever it's called. All I know is it's exhausting. <laughs> and I'm not even really doing it. Sarah's doing all the work. She did the, uh, read those books. If you remember a few videos back, she uh, bought some books on gentle sleep training. And I said, tell me how it ends. Well, she read the whole thing. Uh, or most of it anyway, and has been doing the, the practices that were in the book. And they seem to be really working because he's sleeping for longer stretches every night. But I said, hey, um, don't let me sleep. You know, if you need me to do something, wake me up. Tell me to do it. And she said, you haven't been properly trained. Like, okay, well, if you want to be the one that gets up. But um, I help out whenever she needs me and do what she needs me to do. But She's really been awesome handling this whole sleep training thing, and it's really working. I mean, he is sleeping. His sleeping patterns have definitely changed, and he's sleeping longer at night. So hopefully we're getting closer and closer to getting a some something of a full night's sleep. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I just assumed that I'm going to be tired for the next, like, 20 years of my life. So anyway, I'm going to close the video so that I can exercise Sarah's in there reading on the couch and monitoring the baby so um, if you liked this video give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe to our channel click that bell so you get the notifications when we uh, post new videos and leave us a comment tell us about Halloween decorations in your neighborhood uh, rough days that can only be cured or fixed with tacos or anything just comment on the video Tell us what you think, and we appreciate you guys watching. As always, your support is awesome. So, uh, this weekend, we're going to a pumpkin patch, and we're going to have a the 4th or 5th annual Baker's Acres Pumpkin Carving Contest. So, that's something we do at Aunt Susie's every year. We always carve pumpkins. This year, Gabriel's going to have a pumpkin, and so that'll be pretty exciting. That's this weekend's video. We'll be posting that on Monday. So you don't want to miss that. Click the bell so you make sure you get a notification. All right. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.